The housing crisis is an issue the ABC 7i team has been covering for more than a year now. People calling us saying that they have been on wait lists for affordable housing for not just years, but decades. But two city council members say they are proposing an ordinance that they hope will address that. Everything is going up all of a sudden. It's just ridiculous. Patricia Salina says her rent is soaring. Mine just got uh, mine just got raised right now. Um, not saying it's not as bad as some of the other ones that are more, but it's still, you know, I'm waiting for it to get raised again next year. So. You know, it's just completely bad. Like many Chicagoans, the search for affordable housing in the city is a major challenge. According to city leaders, Chicago is facing a shortage of 120,000 affordable housing units. Our offices are being inundated with folks looking for affordable housing. And so we just didn't have a clearinghouse or a database in place to take a look at affordable housing opportunities outside of CHA. A proposed ordinance sponsored by Alderman Gilbert Villegas and Alderwoman Maria Haddon aims to connect residents to housing without having to rely on Chicago Housing Authority's availability. In my opinion, CHA has not done a good job. What we see right now, we're decades, years and decades of waiting for affordable housing, people actually dying on the list. It just doesn't make sense. We got to do better. So how would this plan work? The Accountable Housing and Anti-Discrimination Waitlist Ordinance would create an online portal where residents apply for affordable housing. If I'm a developer, I'm building in the city of Chicago, I'm going to build a thousand units. I'm seeking some type of incentive or a zoning change. Then, then that triggers the 20% affordable housing. Those 200 units that will be eligible for affordability will be required to be put into a database. The overall plan aims to address housing discrimination. What we want to do is make sure that people are having a fair shot. As for next steps, the city council says they expect this to be approved in the housing committee sometime in the coming weeks. They hope by October this passes through the full city council and they would like to see this database up and running by Q1 of 2025.